Margaret from Compliance is going down. Every year my work has a cookie exchange competition. Last year, Margaret from Compliance took home the award. It's time to take her down. And there's only one way. What's up my little chicken pot pies and welcome to JMAX Amateur Kitchen. Today, we are making Nana's famous candy cane cookies. Remember those Reese's bars she made last year? Oh yeah, and that graham cracker crust? Yeah, and like that Reese's peanut butter? Oh my god, those were amazing. Yeah, those were. We gotta beat her! We have to! Let's make these things! Recipe in the description below. We are gonna need five and a half cups of all-purpose flour. It serves all purposes, including crushing your coworkers. Let's go sift these out. Parchment paper down, one cup of flour, two. Oh my god. Oh, Margaret's gonna win for sure. I think two cups is all I can fit. She starts sifting. This this is sifting, by the way. Alright, cup three, cup four, repeat. How am I gonna edit this to make it interesting? That is the question. Cup five, and cup five and a half. Before you sip that fifth and a half cup of flour, let's add in six teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Why didn't we add these when we were sifting the rest of the flour? Because I freaking forgot. Alright, we got a secret weapon for making these cookies. AKA crushing Margaret from compliance. This bad boy right here. Everyone thank Ed Kim for letting us borrow this. Thank you, Ed Kim. All right, and so this is a mixer, and we'll be using it to mix things. First, we need a cup of butter, AKA two sticks. One. Next, we're dumping in three cups of sugar. Let's lock her down and mix. Alright, for that we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla, two teaspoons of salt, and we're cracking in two eggs. One, two. Mixer engage. Just gonna mix that for like 10 seconds. And now comes the fun part. Let's move our flour over here. We're gonna stir in our flour mixture a little at a time so it doesn't make a huge mess. And we're gonna alternate with a half a cup of whole milk. Every year at this part, Nana always used to say, we're in Nana's house, it's okay, you can make a mess. Well, we're not there. We're just gonna do a little at a time, a little bit of milk, and look at that, no mess. Again, a little bit of flour, a little bit of milk. Oh, now we're just getting cocky. Oh, all right, I'm getting bored. All right, we got a dough going here. Let's go ahead and scrape that off. Don't ever do this, there's raw eggs in here. It's salmonella. Mmm! Tastes a little bowl sample. Mmm! Oh. Don't ever do that. Attach this somehow. All right, let's unattach this. So you got your dough done and you think you're pretty cool, and you are, but check this out. Let's get that out on a cutting board, and we're gonna divide this into two. Half you can put in a Ziploc bag, but the other half goes back into the bowl. We gotta dye it red. Back on the mixer, let's do three drops of red food coloring. Four. And let's mix that in. It's not even close to the red I want, so five more drops. Let's do four more drops. All right. right, let's get that red in a bag. I like to just flatten it out quick. And take that along with our white dough, and we're gonna let it chill for at least an hour. Must be cold in there. Let's go make some cookies. All right, we got a cookie dough and we got a cookie sheet. Let's roll out some of these cookies. First, let's take some of our red dough, put it in between both hands, and roll it out. Throw it on the counter. Let's make it a little bit thinner. And I like to roll it out about twice the diameter of a pencil. Take your white, do the same thing, and let's line it up with the red. I like this like a little bit longer than a pencil. It doesn't have to be perfect. But let's trim the red off of there so they match. All you're gonna do is take your hands, put them on either side, and then just twist the opposite way. And there you have your little cookie ribbon. Then we just lay that on the sheet pan and put a little hook. All right, we got our tray of cookies. We're putting them into a preheated 350 degree oven for seven to 10 minutes. We like them doughy, so we're going seven. All right. 
<laughs> Are you listening? And check these out. Our candy cane Dude. cookies. And after letting these cool for a couple minutes, pop them up and put them on a dish or a wrap. All right, let's yeah. try this thing. Mmm! <sighs> little crisp on the outside, super doughy on the inside. A nice little spice from the cinnamon and nutmeg. Mm. I'm just so chewy. Is this enough to beat Margaret? Probably not. But we tried. Christmas candy cane cookies. Christmas candy cane cookies. Christmas candy cane cookies. <laughs> Side note, there's always extra red food dough left. I don't know why, but the white always runs out before the red. Every time. I don't know, maybe ASAP Science could help explaining that. That's not the important part. The important part is that you know what to do with the extra red dough. Family tradition, slap the food dough on the cookie sheet, press it down, and round out one edge. Take out your spatula, indent one line into the middle. And that's the holiday family traditional tongue. And there you have it. Last thing, we doubled that recipe. It makes about six of these cookie trays of cookies. That's a lot of cookies. If you don't want to make that many, just have it. I'll put that in the description. And thank you for watching.